we're going to determine the derivative of each of the given functions. Notice how they're all exponential functions with base e. And the function f of x equals e to the x is special for many reasons, but one of them is that the function is its own derivative. The derivative of e to the x with respect to x is just e to the x. However, we do have to be a little bit careful here. If the exponent here is a function of x other than just x, we do have to apply the chain rule. The derivative of e to the u with respect to x is e to the u times u prime. So this formula here has the chain rule built in. So looking at these three functions again, notice how we will have to apply the chain rule to determine each derivative. So for this first example, f of x equals e to the power of 3x, the exponent, or u, would be equal to 3x, therefore u prime would be equal to 3. So now we can rewrite this function in terms of u as e to the u. So the derivative would just be e to the u times u prime, or e to the power of 3x times 3. We can rewrite this as 3e to the 3x. In the next example, we have f of x equals 1 sixth e to the power of x squared. So in this case, we would have u equal to x squared. So u prime would be equal to 2x. So now we can think of this as 1 sixth e to the u. So our derivative would be equal to 1 sixth e to the u times u prime or e to the x squared power times 2x. Now if we simplify this, notice we'd have 1 6 times 2, that would be 2 6 or 1 third x e to the power of x squared. And then for our last example, we have f of x equals 4 times e to the power of square root x. So here, u would be equal to the square root of x. But in order to determine u prime, we'd write this as x to the power of 1 half. Remember, we have an index of 2 and an exponent of 1. So u prime would be 1 half times x to the power of negative 1 half. And then simplifying this, we'd have 1 all over 2 x to the 1 half in the denominator, which we can write as the square root of x. So now we can think of this as 4 times e to the u. So f prime of x would be equal to 4 times the derivative of e to the u, which is just e to the u times u prime, or e to the square root x power times 1 all over 2 square root x. So now we'll go ahead and simplify this. Well, 4 times 1 half would be 2. So we'd have 2 e to the power of square root x divided by square root x. So the main thing to remember here is if the exponent is a function of x other than just x, we do have to apply the chain rule given by the second formula. We'll take a look at several more examples in the next video.